Good afternoon. We're out in the sunshine today to introduce our new range of compact industrial MIG machines. Uh, first model in the lineup is a 255i. It's a single phase um, 250 amp MIG, followed by a 356i, which is a three phase uh, compact, and then topping out with a 350 amp three phase compact. So, three models, you'll notice straight away. The, each of the uh, machines is identical in its construction. It uses a common trolley system uh, and common front panel, so uh, the same all the way across. The trolley itself comes with oversized wheels, um, which means it's really easy to wheel around, pull over cables in the workshop and, and very easy to move. All the machines feature a protective panel here for the, the controls to keep batter off the controls and uh, a full roll wire feeder on the side. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll pull the machine out and uh, just have a bit of a closer look on the inside and some of the other features in the machine. Okay, so we're close up on the side of the machine. You'll notice we've got introduced a new logo, some uh, updated branding. We're really pleased with the look of that. We're going to roll that out on all our other machines. Uh, dropping the panel down on the side of the machine. Uh, first thing you'll notice, you've got a uh, setting chart here that allows you to very quickly and easily set the machine to the parameters uh, you need. You just look at what material you're welding, what wire size you're using, what thickness, and then dial that setting in on the front panel of the machine. So really quick and easy to uh, set up. Hopefully you can see here the actual build quality of this machine is really good. Um, we've got a uh, 5 or 15 kilo spool, kilo spool holder, comes with a spacer, so if you've got a 5 kilo spool it keeps it in alignment with the, with the wire feeder. Four roll uh, feed box with twin tensioners, uh, guarantees really a really good uh, drive uh, of the wire, especially important if you're using aluminium, things like that. You'll notice the feed box itself is mounted on a plastic platform with a plastic uh, background that helps uh, prevent any problems with shorting if you get a lot of um, metallic dust building up inside the machine uh, it means it won't short out to the chassis another really nice feature to uh, ensure you don't have any problems with the machine uh, above, above the feed unit we've got this polarity switch here this is if you're using uh, gasless flux cord wire you can change the priority to uh, reverse the priority on the, on, on the torch just by flattening those screws off and swinging the link over to the other side. At the top there, you've got a burn back control that controls how much wire stick out you've got at the end of the, your, your welding, MIG welding. So by increasing the burn back, it will burn the wire further back towards the torch so you get less stick out. So uh, adjustment for burn back there. And that's basically all the features you know, on the inside of the uh, the feed unit. Uh, we'll spin it round to the front and have a look at uh, look at the front now. So. so front panel here, same front panel across the range of machines. Lift up the protective cover. Uh, we've got synergic control, so it means we can select the process MIG we're using, uh, the wire type we're using, and the diameter, and then it's a single button control depending on the thickness material we're welding. Uh, gas test, wire loading button there. Uh, Beam multi process, you can toggle to TIG or uh, MMA welding. If we're TIG welding, it's a lift TIG process, but it does use a torch with a trigger and uh, the gas feeds through the solenoid inside the machine so you've got the ability to control the stop start and there's a down slope function on the machine so it's quite uh, sophisticated in what you can do just in uh, lift tig mode uh, we've got our storage drawer at the bottom here pulls out uh, it's got some dividers in you can lift those out swap those uh, so you can get uh, torches in there or any other accessories or leave the dividers in for uh, smaller things like consumables. 
the drawer itself on the larger machine you can swap the drawer over to a water cooler and there's a power socket on the rear of the 350 amp machine so you just swap the drawer for a water cooler and hook it in the back of the machine so it's it's already sort of pre-wired to for, for water cooling moving around to the uh, rear of the machine i'll just undo the wheel lock if i can find it there we go spin that round to the rear These are the, obviously the instructions that come with the machine, comes with the earth lead, pre-configured uh, gas hose with snap connector, and then you've got your on off switch on the back of the machine and the uh, gas connection. The single phase machine is PFC, which means you can run it on 110, but you'll have a limit to how much uh, power you can get, about 140 amps on 110, uh, but otherwise on 240 volts, uh, you can go up to the, the, the full power level. So we're going to um, rig these machines up to some power and show them uh, powered up in a, in a separate video. If you want to make sure you see that video, can you just make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel? Uh, if you've got any questions out about the machines or things you'd like to see when we do some welding demonstrations, different processes, just Add some comments to the bottom of this video and uh, we, we'll try and uh, get that done for you. Thanks for watching again.